Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm back with another YouTube video. And I know y'all want to know where I've been. i just been going through it. Last year been a hell of a, hell of a year. And stressful. And I just want to... I want y'all to pray for my cousin, Cindy. Because she tested positive for COVID-19. And she not looking too good. And I just want y'all to pray for for me. Because I just, I just been thinking about her. I'm, I'm just worried about her. I still got hope that she going to make it though. She a strong woman. She a very strong woman, just like her mama. I know. But, like, I'm scared at the same time. But I know God got her, and God got me too. And when I say, y'all, God always have me, I can go to him tonight and pray. And I'm definitely, tonight, before I go to bed, I'm going to pray for my cousin. I'm definitely doing that. I recently just started back reading my uh Bible on my phone. And I just started back praying and stuff. And, like, it just, this is just too much for me. Because I just lost a cousin, too. Like... Like, I'm just so sick of just, I'm sick of this COVID-19, to be honest. Like, then I got another virus out. But I'm most definitely, pretty soon I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to call my doctor so I can go on and get my second uh, shot. Because I don't want to catch no COVID-19. Because just to see my cousin, like, sick like that and... In pain, oh, I just like, mm -mm. I just don't like to see not matter of fact, none of my, I don't like to see none of my family in pain. Like, it's just, it's just sad. Like, it's sad. Like, this just happened all of a sudden. Like, she caught Kobe nineteen all of a sudden, just out of nowhere. Like, like. Yeah, I'm trying not to just, you know, I'm not trying to think of negative. I'm trying to have, like, you know, a positive mind frame. <clears throat> a positive mind frame. <sighs> Y'all, this is, this is tough. This is emotional. Like, I miss my cousin so much. Like, when I say I miss her, I miss her so much. Like, that night when she went to the hospital, like, December the 30th, like, that night she left and stuff. Like, like, I was just really just, just sitting there, like, just thinking. Like, I couldn't even lay down. Like, I went in the living room. And I laid on the couch. I was just, I was thinking, like, I was hurt, y'all. I ain't going to hold y'all. Like, I was. I was hurt. <laughs> then, I was just sitting up, waiting, thinking maybe she was going to maybe, you know, be up in the hospital for, like, maybe, you know, a couple hours or so. But, uh-uh. Mm-mm. Then I got to looking at the time. I'm like, no, they gonna keep her. So, y'all, I got an hour of sleep because you know. No, 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 no. Did she? I think either she went to the hospital the 30th. Then, cause no, the 31st, I wanna say, if I ain't mistaken. Yeah, I got an hour of sleep because 
my boyfriend, he came and got me. I was kind of glad because I was up in the house, like, I was, you know, I was getting depressed, like, and you know, when you get depressed, you start crying and, you know, moping. But let me say this to all my supporter, like, <clears throat> don't, when you depressed, just get out the house, please do. Or go chill with family, family member or somebody. Go, you know, just go out, you know, chill. Like, don't, don't be like cooped up in no house. Because you're going to be depressed. And I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to wait on my cousin, um, husband to give me, you know, an update. On my cousin tomorrow, I'm gonna be waiting. And I, I understand how he feel like his wife is like in a hospital, and he can't even go see her because they won't let nobody see her because y'all know she got COVID nineteen, and I ain't gonna let nobody see her. So, like, dang. I just wish she would have had a went on got her um Kobe Kobe nineteen shot. I should have told her to get him. I don't know why I didn't tell her, but I know she's a fighter, and I know she's a fighter. I know. Yeah, I'm trying not to cry because this is this is sad. When I say this is sad, it's sad. Like, me, me and Cindy, we was very close. Because our mama used to keep me when I was a little baby. And we real close. This COVID-19 just killing all our people. Like, like where the heck does COVID-19 come from? Because they gonna try to say that it came from, like, uh, the United States, which I don't believe it came from the no United States. I think it came from China. Matter of fact, I think they create this stuff, to be honest. Like, come on now. And I got another virus out, y'all. Like, what is really going on? Like, like this is crazy. Like, y'all, that's why I say I read. I'm trying to get back to reading my Bible. Praying every night and getting closer to God, you know, because this don't make no sense because <clears throat> I believe, I'm not trying to scare nobody, but I think it's getting closer and closer to Judgment Day, to uh, the rapture and stuff like that. But like they said, you can't run, you can't hide. Be because I done had dreams. I wasn't even scared in my dream, though. Like, because, let me say this. It's just like, God, God was just, like, warning me. Like, he coming. He's coming. But I don't know when. But he's coming. But all I know is, I'm protected. I'm protected. And I say, but let me say this, y'all. I love y'all guys. Make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video, share this video, <clears throat> and hit that bell so y'all know when I upload another video. And y'all make sure y'all be safe out there. And... Oh, and Happy New Year's to everybody. I hope everybody have a good year this year. 
and I love y'all guys. I will see y'all guys in the next video.